In this tutorial, I will show you how to remove annoying toolbars from your web browsers. I will also show you how to remove default search engines being set that you don't want as a default. For example, if the ask.com search engine is placed on your web browser, but you don't want it there, I'll show you how to remove that and how to change the default search engine. I'll show you on the Chrome browser, Firefox browser, and the Torch browser. I'll start with Firefox. Click here, go to add-ons, and you can see right here there is a search toolbar which I don't want. I click remove, and then you must restart your web browser. Okay, now we're going to the default search engine. Click here, manage, and you could set any of these options right here as the default search engine. Or if you want to get more options, you click here. Now on to Chrome. Click here. Extensions. I don't have any toolbars, annoying toolbars here that I want to uninstall, but if I did, what I would do is just click on this trash can to remove it from Chrome. Now for the default search engine, settings, go here, and you could set any of these as the default search engine. Okay, for the Torch web browser, it's very similar to um, the Chrome browser. You would go down here, extensions. Here's the ask.com toolbar click on the trash can. You could also click on disable, which will be unchecking this box, but it's best to just click on the trash can just to permanently remove it. Also, you could click on this to remove the torch shopping um, extension. Click on the trash can, remove it. For the default search engine, it's again, it's similar to Chrome. Just click here and change it to whatever you want. And here's something a little bit more advanced and it's thorough when you add this as an option. Go to portableapps.com you could go into any major search engine okay get to this web address go to apps scroll down look for iobit uninstaller Actually, it's Iobit Uninstaller Portable. Click on Download. I'm not sure where your download folder is located on your computer, but on mine, I set it to the desktop. So everything I download is downloaded to my desktop. Here is how to check where everything is downloaded to my computer. I could always change that if I wanted to, but I like it on my desktop. Okay, now that we downloaded Albit Portable, click Run. Destination folder, just place this on your desktop.
go into the folder, open this up, click here. If there are any type of toolbars or anything that's like an annoying plugin that you want to install and it wasn't installed on your browser, it should be located here. So this is for a, like a thorough cleanup on your computer when it comes to toolbars and plugins. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.